These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Mark Z via PDK. Most of my contacts have just gone dark. I still think things are exceptionally positive. I am trying to make myself stay calm during this process. Just buckle up and stay ready. Start getting your ducks in a row with preparations. All right, Caperoni says, whose fault is it that it's taking years? It's Iraqs, of course. They are unwilling to conform to international standards and they are trying to take shortcuts. Until they follow the rules, begin to diversify, nothing will ever happen. There are no shortcuts. All right, Paulette says, after the budget posts in the Gazette and therefore becomes law, it goes to the MOF to prepare it for disbursements. This often takes as much as 30 days. This is clearly the period we are in and is the normal process. Technically, the PM never gets the budget after the president signs it except for review of what Parliament did to COM's budget. Uh, his MOF has it now in conjunction with the MOP. Personally, I hope we at least see the restructure of the currency prior to the budget disbursements so every day there are no disbursements. If there is no rate change, I am happy. All right, Bruce via Wiser now says we've been told the redemption centers are now on high alert as of Friday. And the information we have from another source directly connected to the process is that we should be there for our notifications. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We could get notified anytime within that period. Let's see what happens with this window. All right, Mountain Goat. Uh, says, I know we are right at the cusp of this event happening. I know for a fact that Iraq is now a full member of the WTO, yet they hold back the news and officially announcing it. Why? Could it be they want Iraq to coordinate this event with the reinstatement of the dinar? All right, Militiaman via PDK says, they, Iraq, need to expose some things to us, and this exposure could happen as early as Sunday or Monday. They have to. They have work to do and contracts to deal with. People need to get paid, so they're going to have to show them their cards. Basically, that is where they're at. I believe the short term looks better than the long term right now. All right, Walking Six says Iraq has a tendency to get in its own way. That's a fact of life of the Middle East life. But the reforms point only one way: a new exchange rate. Because everything waits for a new exchange rate. It's that simple. All right, Frank 26, Firefly, Iraq is on the verge of urban renaissance upon implantation of the budget. This is on our news. Frank says, you think a program rate, a sanctioned toilet paper valued program rate currency is going to take them into the renaissance? I mean, how many ways can Sadani encourage the citizens of Iraq? It's coming. All right, and lastly, Militiaman via PDK, there are things we are hoping to see in the next short period of time. I am looking to see the 2023, 24, 25 budget allocations. They need to start spending money on projects. We'll hopefully see things come to fruition in a short period of time. We're in a fascinating time frame. Everyone and their brother are chomping at the bit to have a previous era exchange rate that's internationally accepted to do business within this region. Everyone is coming to Iraq. These are exciting times and I am feeling very upbeat.